really education was our family. And I actually did have my mother as a teacher when I was in junior high school. Uh, and then had my dad as a teacher when I was a sophomore in high school. I uh, had him a teacher for high school geometry. Dr. John Folks grew up in a family of educators, so you could say he was welcomed into the promised land since the day he was born in 1948. John Folks spent his childhood in rural western Oklahoma with his parents Cecil and Waylene and an older sister. He enjoyed playing sports and being on school teams, but just as important to him were his grades. He loved math. In fact, math led him to meet his future wife, Wyvana, in a high school geometry class his dad taught. But the relationship didn't start out as love at first sight. I'd say, Dad, I'm not, I'm not the one talking. Uh, she's the one that turns around, she puts her arm up on the desk and that kind of thing. And uh, so uh, I really didn't like her very much because uh, she got me in trouble. The classmates started dating and their relationship added up to a lifetime of happiness. We both ended up graduating from OU uh, and uh, she got an elementary education uh, teaching uh, degree and uh, I, my degree was in mathematics. So we both started out teaching. Dr. Folks also earned a master's degree and doctorate from the University of Oklahoma. After a few years of teaching, he worked for the Oklahoma State Department of Education. In 1984, he was elected state superintendent. As his career blossomed, so did his family, with two sons, Mark and Michael. Soon, Dr. Folks took a job as superintendent of Midwest City, Dell City Public Schools in Oklahoma. That's when Jim Miller got to know him. The two became lasting friends. We loved to play golf. We used to love to go snow skiing. We used to love to ride bicycles until he knocked me off of a bike once, but uh, uh, that I won't get into. We don't have time for that story. Craig Wiseman is a longtime friend from Oklahoma. He always admired Dr. Folk's commitment to being everywhere all the time. The only thing is, you're not going to outwork him. Uh, he, he has a work ethic that uh, is unlike anyone I've ever known in my life. Dr. Folks served as Dean of the School of Education for Southwestern Oklahoma State University before moving to Houston in 1997 to become the Spring ISD Superintendent. And then Dr. Folks made it to the Promised Land in 2002 when he was chosen to lead Northside ISD. The highlight of my career was being Superintendent Northside uh, and that just it's just uh, because I love the people, I love the district. I, I, it was a challenge because of the growth and, and everything that was going on. It was just something that I truly uh, fell in love with. Shortly after his arrival, he selected Kay Franklin as deputy superintendent. Well, I really enjoyed working for Dr. Folks, but I also felt I worked with him. And I think that was um, one of his really strong points as a boss is that he certainly uh, was a man who knew his own, my own mind and knew what direction he wanted to head with decisions, but he would always listen to those of us who worked with him. Former Deputy Superintendent for Business George Thoris really admired Dr. Folk's communication skills. Every Monday he would share information to the community along with the staff that had to do with activities that were going on either in Austin at that point in time or the legislature or locally. And he talked about some of the successes that were taking place at the district level. Dr. Folks counts Dr. Linda Mora, Deputy Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction amongst his close friends. Well, this is it. This is where it all started. You brought me in here, you sat right there, I sat here and you started your inquisition that lasted three hours. But looking back, it was all worth it. And I thank you for the opportunity to work with you. During Dr. Folk's decade-long career at Northside, he witnessed tremendous enrollment growth 
while public education went through serious financial challenges in 2011. Senator Leticia Van de Pute recalls John Folks being on the front lines. A leader like John Folks doesn't come around very often. You get the complete package. Uh, works well with members of the legislature. But I think that the reason that people love John Folks is they know that what you see is what you get. He had that genuine feeling for everybody. It didn't make any difference where they were in the hierarchy of the structure. During his 10 years as superintendent, Dr. Folks opened 37 schools as student population mushroomed from 65,000 to 98,000. But he never imagined a school would carry the Folks name. Then when I realized that it was going to happen, it, it was pretty humbling. Uh, to think that, you know, a district would come in and name a facility after me. John Folks Middle School opened with 565 students for the 2013-2014 school year and it will eventually grow to nearly 1,400 students. The school is located in fast-growing Far West Bear County. It is home to the Folk Stallions, where the school mascot is proudly displayed in the lobby, as is the namesake's custom brand. The large library features computerized self-checkout of books and rows of computers for research. Technology has gone viral at Dr. John Folk's Middle School. Check out the iPads in this family consumer science class. In eighth grade algebra, a class set of advanced calculators allows the teacher to communicate a poll question from his assigned laptop. I'll look it up. Sixth graders in a social studies class use their electronic devices to learn the longitude and latitude of various cities. Folk stallions participate in physical education in two gyms. The school also features a full-size outdoor track. In the fine arts wing, you can hear band students learning their new fight song, The Stallion Stomp. Industrial technology students use their creativity with the latest power tools. Computerized student accounts keep track of the children's healthy food selections and account balances. Folks Middle School Principal Barry Bettis says he's thankful to open a new school. I'm proud because to have the opportunity to open a new school, to have the opportunity to build a new campus from, from the ground up, and, and really not the building but the community um, is something that gives me great pride. That pride is also felt by the namesake, Dr. John Folks, who popularized the phrase, welcome to the promised land, when he described the excellence that is Northside. And he was certainly gleaming with pride on the first day Folks Middle School opened its doors as he reminisced about the lifelong educators in his family. It's such a special day and, and you know, I've got a great family and I just want to say how much I appreciate Wyvana uh, you know, my, my kids, uh, my, my family, my mom and dad were teachers, and I know how proud they would be today.